So Kong Skull Island is the new, brand new King Kong movie. That's officially like a remake of the original King Kong that takes place in the 1930s. Now, I never watched King Kong films in my life, and I never went onto the King Kong right before. Because I never heard about King Kong since, like, ever since when I was, like, I don't know, middle school? Around middle school? But I found, so this is the first King Kong movie I ever saw. I saw this last month with my dad and my brother. And boy, this movie has a lot of new experience for me. So the story is about this scientist slash explorer named, played by John Goodman. He is, and, it and the movie takes place after the 1960s instead of the 1930s. So anyway, he is about, him and his black assist, black scientist assistant, has had to use the, had to have a, the U.S., military to help them go to this mysterious island they discovered known as Skull Island. And they just liked, and John Goodman lied to them to go to go there to bomb some Pacific areas around the island. But until, but until King Kong attacks them, attacks them and got them all separated and killed for you one of the soldiers. So, so John Goodman tells Samuel L. Jackson, the, Samuel Jackson plays the leader of the army, it's the reason why they're there. It's because that he wants to prove, see proof that alien, that monsters on the island does exist. So throughout the movie, all the characters who got separated not to reunite together and try to find us get off the island. But it turns, but little did they know that Samuel L. Jackson wants to hunt, hunt down King Kong because he wants revenge on him for killing his mates. So and that's basically the story is. And I have to say the story does actually does work in this episode. Who knew that a man, man who liked an explorer lied to the military, the U.S. Mi like literally the U.S. military, to go to this island to hunt down, to see these creatures. As a matter of fact, all the other characters who were there are actually do does feel notice about it, and of course you know what exactly what's going to happen about these King Kong movies. They always have everything jumps and attacks them in any way. Also, I do like some of the characters. I like this girl photographer who's a journalist who. Always take a lot of photos. She looks, she was kind of fun. And of course, Samuel Jackson, you know, the guy who played Nick Fury in the Avengers, also got some, his best part in the movie. Not the best part, one of the best part of the movie. And John Goo is not a bad, not a bad character either. He's actually the, does have a decent, decent acting. And also, there's the guy who usually been, who got, who got lost, who survived on the island for a lot of years with these nat native villagers. And he's not that bad either. All the characters are not really not that bad. Bad, and they really are kind of likable. We do know how their personalities fit well in this movie. As a matter of fact, let's not forget about the man, the big guy himself, King Kong. Now, he barely have enough screen time, which is kind of a disappointment to me. I mean, they could have King Kong have more screen time, but they just can't have him see him sometimes to, you know, just remind him that he's in this movie. As a matter of fact, let's not forget about the dialogue in this movie. The dialogue is very, really great. It is very, very funny. Funny. And also, the effects. Oh my god. It breaks my heart with... My heart feel glowing when I saw the effects. The CG does look amazing. I love the part where, where some of the creatures were fit in the back... Were camouflaged in the background. Like you never expect what happened. You never know what, if the creatures will be there or not will be there or not. <clears throat> As a met and the way and I love the 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 set the scenery how King Kong fight each of these monsters like he actually is trying to protect these new newcomers in the island. As a matter of fact the CG on the gorilla himself is also a big one. And also it's kinda surprising too because even those who people who never watch King Kong never know watch King Kong movies and they never and it's about the first time they ever seen King Kong for while watching this movie. They kind of surprised that that he find out what he looks like now, in the beginning of the film. And that's kind of really big, weird. Like he's actually seen King Kong when he, in the beginning of a film, and especially the part when they're about to arrive to Skull Island. It's really is kind of necessary, but it's still cool. Also, let's not forget. Now let's get some of the good, some of the bad stuff in another liking the movie out of the way. Sometimes, like Samuel Jackson, he is kind of a douchebag until like the final part of the movie. Like just because he, he really does wants to kill King Kong after he kill his mates, it is really not that pleasant to watch. I mean, sir, he does want about vengeance because he knows that his, that his life has gotten way worse when King when John Goodman lied to him. But it's still kind of way too tense. 
Oh, that reminds me, speaking of intense, the movie is kind of way too intense. Like, most of the time, we just know what's going to happen. Where every time we saw, saw something that's really, really dangerous, we know there's some creatures about to attack one of the characters. And it's really kind of surprising, too. Too. It's like every time when you see the characters, and like, they're all by themselves, or they're about to go somewhere that's really dangerous, then the movie's about to say, like, come on, you know you're ring, and then, gotcha! And that's how, basically, the movie is, kind of, too. It's also kind of way too brutal. I mean, I know this is King Kong. It's supposed to be in action. But I just can't really can't stand that too much in the tense of surprising something that surprises is about to attack you, jump you. Like, it's like watching your finest phrase, phrase the movie. And also, and that's not all I have to say. And that's all the nit bad stuff I have, have to say about this movie. Also, I do love the fight scene in the movie. All the fight scenes with King Kong is really brilliant, and I do love seeing all this action stuff. It's really, really clever. So, overall, King Kong Skull Island is a really great movie. I highly recommend you to watch. It's not a fantastic film, but it's still a good film with some, with some great visuals and great setting with the Skull Island itself. It's a good setting, it's a setting to look at. The characters are really, really fit well in this story, and... And let's not forget, King Kong is still the greatest, biggest gorilla we ever know. And the jokes are really great. And the whole, and the whole thing about this movie is a great wild ride. I think this movie is made just so it can be dedicated to King Kong's, put, who used to be the one of the movies, movie media's greatest icons. And I'm sure my dad will. And I'm sure my dad find this movie way much better than the Jack Black version of. Cup. Of King Kong, so to, so I'm gonna give King Kong, Kong Skull Island an eight out, an eight out of ten for earning a f a Fire Flower Medal. So tell me what you guys think about think about the movie. Put it down the leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.